years after a teen with special needs died and her mother was charged in her death, a new lawsuit is going after CYFD. That lawsuit claims the state agency could have done more to stop ongoing abuse in the home. News 13's Alexis Gineski explains. It was 2022 when Dora Espinoza arrived at UNMH with her 16-year-old daughter with special needs. At that point, the teen was already dead. Further investigation by the Bernalillo County Sheriff's Office revealed a gruesome story of ongoing neglect of the teen who was blind and nonverbal. Detectives say the family's home near central Natrisco was filthy. Flies, feces, and blood in the girl's room and even on the girl herself. Investigators say she had maggots living on her body and the 16-year-old was just 34 pounds at the time of her death. Her condition was shocking. Um, our detectives as investigators, uh, we are saddened and shocked by the condition and the treatment of uh, this victim. The teen's mother, Dora, now awaiting trial on child abuse charges. Now, years later, the teen's estate is suing CYFD claiming the state agency could have done more to stop the abuse. According to the lawsuit, CYFD started investigating the family back in 2015 after repeated concerns of neglect that continued for years to come. Eight reports of suspected abuse and neglect said the teen was dirty and smelling of urine at school on multiple occasions or missing important doctor's appointments. In many of these cases, the suit says CYFD took no action to intervene and protect the teen and her siblings. Alexis Kineski, CareQE, News 13. We reached out to CYFD who said they cannot comment because they have not been served with that complaint.